Hey, hello, hello, hello. How's it going? Um, just got done teaching boot camp, um, and I'm actually feeling really good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I uh, actually took the day off today from work just because I felt like it, and laid around. And the time went by super quickly, of course, um, until it's time for me to teach class. But that um, that just uh, inspired what I wanted to talk about. Sorry, I got a, about to eat. Um, got myself a Wawa um, salad here. Um, I can go into nutrition um, later. Um, while this does have some stuff in it, I imagine it's because of the meat and the cheese, it's a bit processed. Um, for the most part, it's it's okay. There's not a whole lot of there's not a whole lot of stuff. Um, could be better, but it's better than the McDonald's that is literally uh, next door. But um, want to talk about so yeah so. I took the day off today, got a lot of rest. Um, you guys probably know that usually when I'm on here, I'm like out of breath and um, sweat pouring down from my my skull. Um, but it, it just brings me to the point that you do have to give yourself time to rest. You gotta give yourself um, time to recover. I mean, that's, that's with anything. You know, your muscles, obviously, you know, if you're, if you're using weights or resistance, um, you don't want to work the same body parts two days in a row because if they're sore or whether they're sore or not, they have to grow. I mean, they have to recover in order to grow. Um, they have to recover in order to heal. So you got to give yourself time. Um, it's the same thing, whether it's that or work, you know, um, we have the weekends for a reason and I know it can be tough if you got a family trying to really carve that time out. Um, you know, for a lot of us, the our days off, our weekends or whatever, be, simply become the days where we do the work that we couldn't do during the work week. It becomes laundry day and grocery day and Walmart day and, you know, soccer meet and wrestling meet day. You know, I get it. But you still got to take care of you and you're worth it. You are worth taking care of yourself. You're worth getting a day off, worth getting a break. The world will still go on. You know, your family will adapt or hopefully they, they should. You know, you can carve out some time for you. Even if, you know, it doesn't have to be on the beach. Sometimes, you know, I can tell you that um, almost every day when I drive home, you know, I sit in the car right outside my house before I go, before I go in, just sort of decompressing, relaxing, which is, um, there's a study and I can't, I can't really can't quote it. So pardon me if this is off a little bit, there's a study that says that was asking people if they could teleport from their home to work and from work to home, would they do that? And it was the majority like by a considerable margin said no because they need that time between home and work between work and home to either get ready for work or to decompress for work so they can leave everything behind once they once they get in the door so um you've got to, you've got to give yourself that um and you've got to also give your, if you have a family or, or a, a, a significant other, you have, to, you have to give them that as well. I don't necessarily mean you have to give them break time. I mean, yeah, of course, I mean, they, they want their break time. But what I'm saying is you have to get your rest and your break time so that you can be recharged and energized and give whomever you're interacting with the best version of you. But uh, you first, though, you first. Um, so that's really all for today. Um, hope everybody's doing well. Um, take care of yourselves. See ya.